Released in November of 2007, Uncharted Drake's Fortune was the first of its kind, being a summer blockbuster movie in a video game. With you as Nathan Drake, a fortune treasure hunter that is on the hunt for El Dorado, as his supposed ancestor Francis Drake did so many years ago, with you shooting your way through ancient ruins, solving death chanting puzzles, and exploring this mystery island with your mentor Sully and journalist Elena Fisher. To see how this game became so well known and acclaimed, we can use Jesse Shale's own look of Petra as it breaks down the game into four core works in the mechanics, story, and technology. When applying this framework to Uncharted Drake's Fortune, we can see why this game sold over 1 million copies in 10 weeks after launch. In Uncharted Drake's Fortune, what is really the selling point of the game is the aesthetics. Before you even press new game, you are shown a glimpse of the game and just a splash screen with its aesthetics. With the sounds of the music that is playing, the looks of all the maps moving in the background, and the main title of the game looking all torn up and grimy. This you are giving an idea of the story with these aesthetic choices, as it gives you a sneak peek of what to expect. As you are hearing the music giving off sounds of adventure, looks of exploration in the maps, and the torn up title giving you an idea of this corner won't be easy. Once you start that new game, you will see what the splash screen is telling you the whole time. After looking at the splash screen, we can finally press start and dive deeper into what the aesthetics really mean in Uncharted Drake's Fortune. In this game, uses sound in the world to immerse the player. Throughout the game, the player can hear many sounds, including their own footsteps. This helps the player have a sense of agency in the world, as if they are there. In this game, you also have music cues throughout the level levels of this. You are exploring in the levels. You can get lighter sounds of music. This makes the player feel as they have time to explore as it sets the tone of where you are at in the level. With the looks of Uncharted Drake's Fortune, the game also uses the visuals of the level to immerse you. As you explore the levels in the game, you are surrounded by lush green jungles or hidden away bunkers. The visuals of these environments, with the help of the technology of the PlayStation 3, really immerse you into this world. The looks or visuals of the game also guide the player to the right direction. Whenever you are climbing a wall, you can see the rocks you want to climb are lighter than the others. What this does is help guide the player without breaking immersion, as the game is using its own world to guide you. With the feeling of the game, the game can make you feel like a treasure hunter as you are Nathan Drink, as in two mechanics of the game are collectibles that are scattered all around levels, and your journal, as whenever you are trying to solve a puzzle, Nathan pulls it out. This makes the player feel as he or she is Nathan Drink, looking and exploring the world to find random treasures, or reading his book trying to solve a puzzle. Coming to a close, an Uncharted Drake's Fortune aesthetics are really, really sells the game, as the sounds and music can immerse or set the tone of a level. The looks of the game can draw you in and guide you along the way, 
or the feelings of being a treasure hunter with the journal or collectibles. As this game has all three elements, the one that shines the brightest is how it sounds, looks, and feels with the aesthetics of the game.